Hi everybody, welcome back to Charmed Intuition Tarot. So for today's video, we're doing a highly recommended video. I've seen this recommendation or suggestion a few times in the comments, so thank you so much. And a lot of you have been wanting me to bring back the pendulum, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity. So today we're doing the question, how many children will I have? What would they be like? We're just gonna sort of figure out how many children you can expect to have. Now, I just wanna quickly mention, if you're not interested in having kids, this might not be the reading for you. Also, there's many, many different ways to have a family, okay? This could cover adoption, this could cover having the baby yourself, this could have, cover, um, you know, surrogacy, adoption, this could be step-parent situation. There's all sorts of ways to create a family. So basically, this is just going to ask what, how many children you're going to have and what they're going to be like. So we're going to use the pendulum. So I've printed out the numbers to find out how many children you're going to have. We've got the charms, which I think should give us some pretty good information. And then a bunch of different cards that I'm going to shuffle right in front of you guys, you know, for each child. So we've got three crystals here. Okay. So we've got the first one. It's like this purpley blue crystal, more purpley than blue, really. It's almost got like a touch of navy to it. It's not showing on camera. And then we've got this piece of fluorite and this piece of clear quartz. So if this doesn't resonate, guys, remember this is just a general reading. I wish I could spend four or five hours on this reading. This is something I could totally just spend so much time working on and going through. And I could have a million piles, but I decided to do three. So just take what resonates. If it does resonate, that's awesome. If not, you know, hopefully the next one will. Definitely let me know in the comments if it does. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing. I really appreciate everyone who's subscribed and commented and watched my videos. You guys are so amazing. And also, so hit the bell if you haven't already and you'll be alerted to any videos that I eventually post or in all the ones I'm posting soon. So yeah, we're going to get into it. So this is one, two, and three, and we'll start okay, with one. Okay, group one, if you chose the first crystal, this is your message about your future children. So first we're going to use the pendulum and we're going to find out how many kids you're going to have. All right, so how many children will group one have? Okay, I'm gonna say that's two. We're gonna go with two here. It's leaning more towards the two. So we have two children here for you, group one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put two piles for each child. I'm gonna shuffle some cards right on camera here. We're gonna do this together. And this is gonna talk about their personality traits and it's just some experiences that you can expect for the first, uh, for your two children. Then we're also going to do some charms and the charms might give us some clues as to gender or you know their sign just different things like that so we'll start with the cards so let's do so one and two just to make two different piles so we'll shuffle together so this will just take a few moments here so your first child start with use just a few different oracle cards and whatever pops out will be the message. All right. Group one, first child, group one, first child. Group one, first child, group one, first child. Group one, first child. Group one, first child. Okay, we have one pop out there. So let's take a look at your first child personality traits. Okay, we've got the nine of cups. We've got milk and honey. Go the distance. Not for you. Volunteer. Easy does it, swan, and enthusiasm. Okay, so let's just take a look at some charms for your first child. Okay, so we've got a cancer. So your first child could be a water sign. 
two charms about Christmas as well. So Christmas time or holiday seasons could be very important to your first child. We've got happy, very intuitive. All right, so we'll just set these aside. We'll come back to these. Actually, you know what? I'll make sure these are in your view. And first, let's look at the cards. Okay, for your, so your first child. All right, so we have volunteers stuck out to me. So I feel like your first child is going to be very caring. Your first child is going to be the type of person that wants to make a difference. I see the fact that they're really always thinking about other people, their peers, they're trying to help. They're somebody that when asked to do something in the classroom, they raise their hand, like very, very caring and they want to make a difference. So that's really nice. Enthusiasm as well would speak to the same kind of same kind of personality trait that I'm getting. Just very enthusiastic. They want to make a difference. They really are excited. They're excited to enjoy each day. So just a very happy child. I'm getting that too with the fact that we have the happy charm as well. So just a very happy-go-lucky, happy child, ready to help. So very, very caring. All right, we have the swan. So the swan is making me think that, again, I think of gentleness. I think of the personality and all of the things that they develop as a child in their personality, like they're caring and they're giving and they're very loving. These are going to be the things that are going to make them a very kind and very very lovely adult too. Like I, I see them growing into somebody who is very caring and all of these qualities, you know, if you encourage them are going to be something that they have for life. Okay. We've got not for you. So the, you know, there, I see them being very happy, very caring, very loving, but I see them also being okay with saying no, which is excellent. And I love that you got this card because the enthusiasm and the volunteer and willingness to help people and be there for people and, you know, is, is excellent, but it's also important that they know when to say no. So no, you know, not for you is excellent. So they are very wise. They know how to trust their intuition. I've got the intuition charm here as well. So they're very intuitive. They trust their intuition as well, which is excellent. So this little whistle here and the go the distance makes me think that this first child is going to be quite athletic. They're going to be very goal oriented. So they like to set goals and they like to make them happen. Okay, this could be with their studies, their school, as well as with sports. So very, very goal orientated. They like to make things happen and they go the distance. So they're not, they don't give up. Okay, this, this child in particular is very, very strong willed. Milk and honey makes me think of the fact that they enjoy the little things. They, I think with the holiday charms here, they love holidays, they love family dinners, they love anything where the family sort of gathers together and spends time together. They love that. So we've got some interesting charms here. I'll finish the cards too, but we've got some interesting charms. And the thing about this is some of these charms are quite unique. So this could just speak to the child's interest. So we've got a draft here, we've got the Eiffel Tower. So travel could be something that your first child is very interested in. Um, we also have the hot air balloon, so adventurous. And as well as, you know, perspective. I think your child has a good understanding of situations and people and, you know, is very, very bright. We also have the little pot here. I think of this as emotional. Um, it can sometimes mean emotions bubble over. We've got water energy here as well as the cancer. So this child in particular, very, very emotional, almost to the point where sometimes it gets overwhelming. I just think they get so overwhelmed by how they feel and their emotions, whether it be good or bad, you know, it, it can sometimes get overwhelming. Now, the Nine of Cups is about happiness and confidence and satisfaction in relationships. So I see them being a very excellent friend and just having a happy, happy relationships in their life, which is, which is excellent. So I think that volunteer and that enthusiasm and just all the personality traits that are coming through for your first child is what this is sort of all about. I think people really enjoy being around them. Again, they're very caring and uh, very, they seem very interesting. And then easy does it. So it says, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. So I think that could be where the emotions bubble over when they feel like something is out of their control or if they don't get their own way. So that's just something to watch out for with that first child. They might like to, I think because of their 
the way they are, their spirit, their volunteering, they do like to make a difference. And I think they like things done their way too as well. So they like to help and they like to make a difference, but they, they have a certain way that they think that something should happen. And when it doesn't happen that way, they might sometimes get a little bit overwhelmed or emotional, overly emotional. And you know, everyone has their, has their thing, but overall very happy. Somebody that enjoys the little things in life. So again, all those little happy times with family. They really enjoy, they're enthusiastic about everything. So whether or not it's, you know, you give them a gift or just an apple in their lunch, they're just enthusiastic. They like to get to know people. I see them as very interesting. They like to learn about people. They're very curious about people. And um, I also see with the draft that they're I almost think of like, you know, sticking, sticking your neck out for someone, helping someone. So they really are helpful little people. Like this person really likes to help their, their friends and their teachers and just very helpful and very, very caring. So that's really nice <laughs> for your first child. I didn't get much in the way of gender. Um, you know, I don't think that that's so much the focal point here. It's more so their personality, personality traits here is what we're focusing on here. Um, you know, we might get a charm that gives more of a, you know, girl or boy hair, but again, we're focusing more on personality traits and possibly their sign and just different things like that. So let's, let's, um, shuffle for your second child. And I would love to spend more time on each child, but the thing is, is, <laughs> you know, some groups could get five children. So I'm trying to keep it as, you know, reasonably timed as I can. So let's look at the second pile here. So second child, both of these sort of stuck to my hand. So we'll take both of those. And this is why I don't always shuffle on camera, you guys. I know a lot of you like it, you find it relaxing. So I'm just gonna try and do some videos where I shuffle, some videos where I don't. It does take some time. So I know a lot of you do like it. So I thought this one would be fun, you know, to shuffle on camera so you could kind of see everything as it lands. All right, so your second child. One more little pile here. All right, so let's take a look at some charms as well for your second child. Okay, so we did get a girl here. So this particular child will identify as a female, okay? So we also have some initials. So we have a little bit more information for your second child. We have a J, an H, an E, and a Y. The name Jesse just sort of popped into my head. We have a Taurus as well. So a lot more information about your second child. We have Hug here snowflake there we've got the lightning bolts the diary uh, so this particular child is a princess or a queen or they feel that way but we're going to get to the charms in just a minute first i just want to look at what cards we got for your second child so vitality and imagination so your your second child and that's sort of what i was feeling is you know what uh, quite a force so it says i actually hear Vitality is the beaming force that gives energy and vigor to life. So this child is, you know, you're going to have, you're going to have to keep up with this child. She's going to be very, um, a lot to handle, but in a good way. She just has a lot of life, okay? And imaginative, very imaginative, very creative. Imagination intrigues the soul and illuminates the heart. So she's very imaginative, very unique. We've got Boar, so she's stubborn, okay? this And that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling as soon as we got the charms and the cards here. She's a stubborn girl, but that's good. Like, that's kind of the kind of thing that, you know, she's got spirit, and with the lightning bolt, I think she might come off sometimes a little harsh. So she's very like, right now, you know, this is what I want. This is, you know, how we got to do it type thing. Affirmation. So it says to lift up your thoughts and energy and attract what you desire. Use positive affirmations. So again, she's very positive. Uh, she might be the type that is, um, affirmations just sort of made me think of, you know, she might really get into like almost like storytelling and like creative storytelling because we've got that imagination too. So things like that. She might really use storytelling as 
um, the kind of thing that helps her create goals and have ideas. And like, she's very sort of, you almost can't keep up with her. Uh, we also have the Eiffel Tower for her as well. I think your first child got the Eiffel Tower. So that's interesting. So it could mean that both of your children are just fascinated with travel. It could mean that in particular, the Eiffel Tower is something that interests both of them. Or it could just be something that later down the years, you notice, like, why are they so fascinated by the Eiffel Tower? You know, it could be something as simple as that. So we've got the Six of Cups, which makes a lot of sense. So she is just uh, just a happy-go-lucky child. This is the inner child card. This is the childhood card. So she really enjoys being a child. She enjoys the creativity of it, the imagination. She enjoys playing and having fun with friends. Um... I'm I'm getting we have Taurus here, but I'm also getting strong Scorpio here. So that would explain a lot. Um, but I am getting strong Scorpio here. I do believe that she will also be um, somebody who is very spiritual as well. Okay, so we've got spirit. We've got um, this can be a symbol of spirituality as well, and as well as the affirmations. I think she's a child who will enjoy um, if you're a family that is, you know, spiritual or religious, you'll enjoy that, that part. Okay. She's going to enjoy, um, just different things like that that make her feel, um, connected spiritually. So I just see her as being very spiritual overall. Okay. She might be a bit secretive. We've got the diary here. So just something to keep aware of. She might be a tad secretive. We've got the witch on her broom, which again is power and determination. So once this child makes up her mind about something, you know, that's, that's it. That's what she, that's what she wants. So we've got no place like home as well as get some rest. So she's a homebody. She loves being at home. I think that's going to be her favorite place to be. It's just at home with you guys. I think that she might even be the type that has maybe even some social anxiety sometimes. Um, I see her sort of just being an individual, like stubborn. And I think maybe that could be what it is, is she's, she's a little bit stubborn and she likes things her way, but she's also very playful and very kind, you know, but I think she just enjoys her own atmosphere. She enjoys her own home, her own toys, her own family, just likes being at home, which is, which is fine. Hug here. So she might be somebody who really likes to hug and she likes to have affection, um, you know, and comfort from you. We've got the, yeah, so I am, again, seeing strong female energy. We have the Taurus here, so that could be in her chart, as well as I'm getting strong, strong Scorpio vibes here as well. Um, she seems to enjoy just, like, cozy nights at home, like, watching movies, watching, you know, movies with the family or playing games with her family, just sort of, like, being cozy at home, whereas your first child... I, I am getting a little bit more social um, vibe. So this child in particular, your first child is a little bit more like curious about people and what they think and, you know, wanting to get to know people. Whereas this child likes her own territory, her own, you know, her own toys. She doesn't maybe like to share as much. So they have a little bit of differences, but overall two very, they seem very, very caring, both of them. Very, very caring. I think if I were to say which child you would have the most uh, challenges with, I think it's definitely your second one, okay? Uh, for your second one, I would encourage her, let's just see here, to really keep up with that imagination. And it's okay, that stubbornness is okay, okay? Her standing up for herself is definitely okay. As with the first child, you have the not for you. So with this child, this child is a lot more um, quick to say, nope, I don't want that. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Nope. So that's also a good thing. Okay. Um, you know, standing up for themselves is very, very important. So overall, pretty cool group one. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a bit different. I really wish I could get more and more information, but again, this video would easily be three, four hours long. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, please let me know down below in the comments. If you're not subscribed already, I'd love for you to subscribe and join the Charmed Intuition family. Um, if you haven't hit the bell, also, if you hit the bell, you get all the notifications when I post a new video. So thank you guys. As always, you're amazing, and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day. Okay, group two, if you chose the second crystal, this is your message. We're going to find out first how many children you're going to have. And then I've got a big stack of cards. We're going to find out some personality traits. I'll be shuffling 
on camera for this again. And then we also have the charm. So we're gonna get as much information as we possibly can. Obviously, if you get five children, we're gonna have a little bit less information. If you have one, we'll get more. So we'll have to see. So how many children will group two have? Three children. Okay, so you're having three children. So what I'm going to do is grab some of my numbers here. So we've got one, two, and three. All right, so what we'll do is we'll shuffle a pile for each child. We'll start with your first child. Get as much information as we can. Oops, we're stuck here. So let's see. And again, I usually shuffle off camera and have the piles ready, but I thought for this one, it would be interesting to see oh, everything shuffled on camera. All right, so your first child. So hopefully we can find out just sort of what they'll be like, what their interests might be. Maybe some initials with the charms. Oopsie. It's the thing. Shuffling on camera is a lot different. Okay, so let's put these cards aside here for the other two children in just a moment. First, we're going to just focus on one at a time. So we'll do some charms. And I think we should get some pretty cool information from the charms. So. Group, group two's first child. Okay, so we do have some letters. We have an R, an A, an F, an O. Okay. Very interesting. So we'll get to the charms in just a minute. But first, let's look at the cards that we got. All right. So we got wellness, the buffalo, page of cups, the fates, summer, and you're stronger than you know for your first child. So, all right. So what I'm seeing for your first child is they are very creative, okay? We've got the paint and paintbrush here, as well as this card here, the Page of Cups. So I really think that they're creative. Um, this could be a clue that they're a water sign as well. So they could be a water sign, but I see them being very creative. They could be possibly born in the summer, so that could be a clue as to when they'll be born. We've got wellness and you're stronger than you know. So health is very important to this particular child. Um, they might be really into athletics. We've got the, the soccer ball here. So I think that health is very important to them. Fitness and things like that is something that they're going to grow into really appreciating. So they are, they enjoy just, they seem to enjoy extracurricular activities like sports and painting and different things like that. So I see them being very creative and it's sort of very well-rounded, so they have a lot of interests. So you're stronger than you know is telling me that maybe they might struggle with some self-confidence issues, they might struggle with feeling not very strong for some reason. So it's just sort of, this sort of makes me feel like they're gonna find some sort of inner strength at some point, okay? I feel like with the Fates card, they're destined to do something. I feel like something's gonna happen where they figure out they have some sort of calling and they're just sort of destined to do something. I see this particular child is very, very strong, very determined, and very imaginative as well. And again, like I said, very, very creative. With the secret and the locked card, I see them as a little bit secretive. This particular child's a bit secretive. I think that they might get sort of stressed out sometimes as far as being rushed. I feel like they don't like to be rushed. All right. Um, I feel like they like to take their time in tasks, whether it be, you know, with the sports or with their, um, you know, with their creative little projects that they have. I feel like they don't like to be rushed. Very hardworking and very persistent, though. So very cool. And like I said, a little bit secretive. They're a dreamer. You know, the fates have got the star here. I think they have really fantastic, really cool ideas and they really want to make them happen. Um, but again, they, again, they might 
really get sort of discouraged if they feel rushed or pressured in any sort of way. So we've got the moon here again, secret with the secret, the moon here, and then the, the locked heart. I think they're just very, they're, they don't open up to a lot of people. They don't um, share their emotions with a lot of people. They're just very introverted and secretive at times. As well, the locked key here too. All right, so again, we have initials. We have R, A, O, and F. So teamwork is big. Family seems to be very big to them. Uh, we've got Leo here, so that could be a clue. We've got Leo, which would make sense with the summer. So I am thinking that they are going to be born in the summertime. Or summertime just might be a time where they really feel their best. They love to, you know, get involved with sports and different things like that. So very, very cool. So your first child, I see them being perhaps a Leo. All right, we've got, um, we also got the water energy too. So they could be a water sign. So I'm sort of getting like Cancer or Leo around that time during the summer. And we've got a little bit like they don't, they like to take their time. They don't like to feel rushed. They, they're they very, you know, they like to do things their way. I've got the fact that they're quite creative. They are you know, athletics and things like that, again, might be very important to them. I could see them going into a career where they really um, work with like sports or um, like sports medicine, something like that, or wellness, like doctor, nursing, something like that. Um, but they also have that creative side, which is interesting. But again, very persistent, imaginative, lots of different ideas, and a little bit secretive. So that's your first child. We didn't get anything pointing to any gender for that child. We did have an F though, so that could um, signify that she'll identify as a female. So your second child, let's shuffle again together here and see what we get for your second child. Again, I wish this video could be like three hours long. I think that might be too long for you guys. So, all right. So group two, second child. Wisdom of the Oracle here, group two, second child, group two, second child. Oh, a bunch fell out here. Group two, second child, group two, second child. Group two, second child. I don't know why I felt just like pulling three for that one. This one came out, adult children, I flipped on the other side for some reason. Okay, let's look at the charm. So group two, second child. All right, we have a female as well here. So I'm getting more female vibes for this child as well. We have Aquarius. A lot more information for your second child. Romance, so as they grow older, they might really enjoy like romantic comedies, things like that. Let's see here. We have a C and a D. Those could be initials. Travel. A lot's going on. Your second child got lots more information. So let's see here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, your second child seems a lot more adventurous than the first. We've got Wish, Queen of Cups. So water energy as well as we've got that Aquarius. Soulmates, Fork in the Road. Daughter. Okay, so that kind of just confirms that your second child should be a female or likely is going to be a female, I should say. Finances, new career, adult children. So they seem to be focusing on your second child more so as them as an adult, okay? So I see that whatever they're interested in as a child is going to sort of set them up for whatever career they have, all right? So finances and career tell me that they're going to have an excellent career. Finances are going to be very important to them as adults. Let's see here, teamwork again. Both of your children so far seem to be excellent at teamwork and working well with others. Time has come up twice for both of your children. So time constraints seem to stress them out a little bit. Uh, this child is also, we have a she as well. So we've not only have the daughter card, the female charm, and then we also have a she. So your second child will identify for sure as female, okay? So that's just a, a really strong clue here. I see them having a strong sense of humor. This is sort of like a fun, 
sort of charm about having fun. We've got travel here. So this child is really going to enjoy traveling. So as a child, it might mean they enjoy family vacations, you're just going on little day trips with you. And as an adult, that could mean that whatever this career is, they really enjoy traveling or their career requires travel. So we have a lot about romance here. We've got the old fashioned romance. We've got the little Valentine here. We also have the soulmate card. So I am sort of feeling like your daughter is going to really enjoy romantic comedies and Disney movies about like princes and princesses. Like they feel, I feel like they're very into that. Like they really love the idea of, you know, um, you know, meeting somebody one day and getting married. So that's very important to them. Um, so like they might really enjoy playing house and different things like that might be a really strong focus for them. Very, you know, direction, we've got the arrow here. So very determined, um, adventurous, like I said, with the mountain lion. So this child in particular is not afraid. She is a go-getter. She is very confident and um, I wouldn't get in her way type, type energy, okay? And I think that's why it's sort of talking about her adult life with the adult children, new career and finances. Is it's just sort of giving you a clue here that these qualities that she has is really gonna get her far in her career. It's gonna sort of create a nice life for herself with, with the qualities that she has, that determination especially. And I see her again being happy um, you know, in her in her life. I see her getting married and, and that, that being very important to her. Um, she also, the old fashioned romance, for her, a gentleman is going to be very important. So someone who holds the door open, like that's kind of the, um, she's she's into sort of that old fashioned idea of romance. That's why I thought of like Disney and, and sort of that kind of idea. That's something that appeals to her personally. All right, so we've got Queen of Cups. So again, very loving, emotional. She's a very loving, loving person. This could be a clue that she's a water sign as well. I don't think we got, we got Aquarius, but um, I am sort of more feeling water energy with her. Okay, so, um, you know, she could be a Pisces or Scorpio um, or Cancer. So we'll have to see there because we didn't get any, any, um, you know, clues as to when she'll be born. So as far as the charms go, we have the mountain lion. We also have the cougar here. So again, that sort of eye on the prize, you know, goes for what she wants. Works well with others though too. So she's, she's very determined, but she also is excellent at working with others. She likes to hear other people's point of view. I see her being very caring and loving and the kind of person that listens and wants to hear how other people are doing. We've got the peace sign here. So very just uh, um, the kind of person that just wants people to get along. She doesn't do well with drama. I don't see her getting swayed by drama or bullies or anything like that. Wish too makes me feel like a lot, of, sort of like what I was saying, a lot of these qualities are things that are going to, she's going to carry with her her whole life. Her interest in, you know, getting married and that romantic fairy tale is something um, that she might wish for. Her interest in career or travel. So she's the kind of person that she's going to set these goals as a child and have these ideas and wishes and she's going to be the type that makes it come true. So we've got fork in the road. So at some point, this could happen in her teenage year. She's going to have a decision to make um, on what path to take. And I feel like this just talks about all of the options. I feel like she's going to have so many options available to her that she might have a little bit of confusion on what, you know, what course to take in college or university or what direction to take. She might even have, you know, just some some struggles as to like what direction to take. She might have an opportunity to travel that might, you know, cause you know a little bit of confusion we've got intuitive i see her being very very intuitive she might deal with a little bit of that's mine when i'm little we got the my so it made me think of her as a little girl like that's mine she might not like to share um we've got here candy so i feel like again she enjoys like she enjoys a lot of like that like sort of I don't want to say girly because I don't think anything is necessarily girly or, you know, just for boys or girls. But I'm seeing sort of like she's just like a girly girl in the sense that she really likes to play with makeup and like that kind of thing really, really interests her. So what else do we have here? Laugh. So she, she's funny. She likes to laugh. She might have a really... I, th I see with this beans and rice charm too. I think she has a strong sense of humor. I think she's going to make you laugh. I think she's just going to be a funny person. And I think that's why people are really going to enjoy being around her. So yeah, I think that's super interesting. We got a lot more details for your second child. So let's see. 
what kind of details we can get about your third child. Okay, so let's start with the butterfly cards. And I've got the fairy cards. Again, I really wish I could spend like an hour on each on each group. Maybe one day I'll figure out a way to do that. Okay, we've got the tarot cards here. So group two's third child. Group two's third child. Group two's third child. I'm gonna pull one more. And the last cards, group two's third child. Group two's third child. Okay, so let's put these cards aside. All right, I'm gonna take a look at some charms here. So group two's third child. So we have a C, an H, an A, and a Y. Okay. So again, those could be initials. Okay. <laughs> so right away, I already see that at the beginning, this child is going to be a bit more of a challenge. Your third child is going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, nothing major, though. I'll get... Um, I'll sort of explain that end of an era. So that's interesting because your third child, I think like this is the child where you're going to be like, yep, that's, that's, that's enough. <laughs> like, I think, um, once you have this child, it's going to just be, you know, you're going to be making the decision to not have any more. Get some exercise building blocks, the tower, <laughs> interesting energy, patience and armadillo. Okay. So yes, <laughs> this third child's going to be a bit of a challenge but it's, it's going to be good. Okay. It's going to be a good thing. It's good. She's just going to require, and I said, she, I didn't get anything really signifying that it's a she. Um, I am going to pull just a few more charms here. All right. Pisces, Capricorn, and Virgo. Okay. So the thing that first, we also have, we've got lots of signs here, Aquarius. Okay. So we've got the boxing glove and that was the thing that sort of stuck out at me at first. Okay. So she's going to be a bit of a challenge and it doesn't mean physical like fighting, she's not going to fight you or anything. The boxing glove just symbolizes, uh, it symbolizes a challenge. It symbolizes, you know, a, a little bit of a, a meta metaphorical fight in a sense. Okay. So again, that doesn't mean actually like she's not going to try and fight you or anything like that. Um, so this signifies the seven of swords. So I think she might, um, Hmm. I just see, I see that she's going to require a lot more patience for you. Okay. And especially the fact that we have that tower. Okay. So this child, I think with your first two, you're going to be so used to them being quite independent and driven. And this child's going to be a lot different. But this child I see has a lot of really wonderful qualities too. You have the angel wing. So it's telling you it's going to be okay. This child too, I think is going to be one that you really, really bond with. Okay. I think this is going to be one that you guys grow together. You guys learn a lot together. I think you guys are going to be quite close as a, like once this child grows up and as an adult, as adults, I see you guys really bonding and being very close. Um, all I see basically is that it's going to be worthwhile. Any challenge that this third child brings, um, is going to be worthwhile. And every child, you know, raising children is not easy. Um, we've got the time here, double time. So this one's sort of like, we're going to acquire a lot of patience, like we got the patience card and time, but it's going to be a challenge that you're up for because you love this child and this child loves you. And I think these challenges just come from their personality type. I think they're just, uh, they, they're, what's the word? I feel like they, they're just a lot different than the first two children. And maybe they feel like a little bit compared to the first two, because the first two, again, seem to be so, um, driven. Um, they're really into teamwork and things like that. Whereas I feel like this child likes to do their own thing. They're a little bit different. Okay. Um, but I think that's what you're going to grow to love about them. Okay, so we've got hope here. So that's nice to see the fact that we've got hope here. Okay, so there's hope in the situation. This child's just one of a kind. This child is their own. They're very intuitive as well. This child really um, enjoys music. So it's almost saying like encourage their love for music. Encourage that individuality. Okay, um, don't compare them. I'm getting a strong message to not compare them to the first two Um 
and just sort of encourage them for what they can do, okay? I see this child as being very thoughtful, very interested in writing perhaps, so they might be excellent at communication and writing. All right, we've got a five here, which can talk about struggle as well. So we've got a lot of clues that it's gonna be a challenge, um, but one that is a beautiful challenge, okay? Any child, um, you know, should be encouraged. So this is, this is, and then the armadillo too is making me think of like guarded. So this child might be a bit more guarded. The tower again, and what I love about this tower is she's smiling, okay? So it's almost like this child's gonna be a little bit more chaotic, but it's going to really help you guys grow, okay? So I think this cat sort of says it all. It's gonna be like, oh my gosh, my first two children were so like, easy like it wasn't a challenge and then this this child came along and it's so different it's a little bit of a challenge but it's really worthwhile and remember the tower always leads to something well most of the time it leads to something that we're happy it happened okay get some exercise so this is just telling me that with your third child it's going to be very important that they stay active to sort of get that energy so they you know they they might be very interested in exercise that they can do like I said I don't I don't see that they enjoy the same kind of sports and activities that your first children do I see that this child likes to do things on their own so they might really enjoy something like karate they might enjoy like hiking or you know there's different activities where they can sort of do a little bit more independently things like that um, building blocks. So this child is in structure is very, very important. Also sort of seeing the bigger, bigger picture. So every single step that you take with this child, every single thing that you do is going to be very important. And I see this, this child really rising above any challenges. So it could be that maybe they have struggles in school. Okay, whereas the other ch two children don't. Like I said, maybe they compare themselves um, personality-wise to the other children. All I see is that it's going to be a, it's going to be a more of a struggle, but it's going to be so worthwhile. And I see really, like I said, bonding with this child as an adult. I think this child, whereas the other two are a lot more independent, um, in the sense that like once they're adults, you know, that they're going to have a very um, like I said, that one child with the career, her career is going to be really big and the other child too, like, whereas this child is going to be really, like, their relationships are very important and they're guarded. So their relationships with you are very important. So I think you're going to be very close with this child. You're going to bond with them. They really crave comfort from you and security from you. So it's really important to, like, reassure them, okay? We've got the crown here. So they might come off... Um, a little spoiled because they're the youngest. Okay, they might come off a little spoiled, but it's because you're trying to really make them feel loved. So maybe this child um, deals with some insecurities or, you know what I mean? It could be different things for each of you. But basically the theme is this child's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, but it's gonna be so worthwhile because they're really gonna go far and they're gonna have a close relationship with you as well, okay? So end of an era, like I said, once this child's born, I think you're got, you guys are gonna be like, okay, that's that's a that's good there with the three um and then the energy so with limit limitless limitless energy wow sorry guys you'll achieve more than you ever dreamed possible so love that and i think that's sort of like the perfect sentence to describe this child they have limitless energy okay that's why i think the exercise is so important and you'll achieve more than you ever dreamed possible and i think that's what i think this child is going to surprise you the most i think this one is going to take any challenge that they go through and i just got chills like just sort of talking about this child um i think they're going to take these challenges that they've been through and create something so amazing and you're just going to be so proud of them and there's hope here and there's music and like just so much um so much to look forward to. It's just saying, give it some time. So patience seems to be the most important thing with this particular child is patience, understanding, comfort, um, you know, being there for them. Okay. So awesome group, group two. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it was sort of like a brief summary into three people who seem very unique. Um, so we couldn't get you know, all of the details about who they are, but we did, we did get a lot. So if you enjoyed this, please let me know down below in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing and becoming part of the Charmed Intuition family. I really do appreciate you guys. Everyone who has subscribed, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Um, if you want to hit the notification bell too, that just lets you know when I upload new videos. Um, a few people did mention that they didn't know I had uploaded um, my last couple of videos. So if you want to hit that bell, if you want to hear about my future videos, a lot of you are so cute. You always comment that you're part of the notification squad. It just makes me laugh. I just love you guys so much. So I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.
by group three. If you chose the clear quartz crystal, this is your message about your future children. First, we're going to use the pendulum and try and find out how many children you are going to have. We've got the charms and we've got lots of different cards. We're going to shuffle right on camera today and see what kind of personality traits they have and just some information about them. But first, let's try and find out how many children you're going to have. So how many children is group three going to have? Okay, so I think it's leaning more towards the one than the five. It didn't land right on the, so we're gonna go with one here. Okay, so, all right. So the cool thing is though, since we've got one child, it doesn't mean you're only gonna have one child, but the cards and charms seem to wanna focus on this one child. So we're gonna get lots more information because we have a little bit more time. So I'm just gonna grab all these cards here. And again, these cards will help us figure out perhaps how they identify as male or female, whether or not they're male or female. Um, it'll help us figure out their personality traits, maybe their sign, when they're going to be born, what interests they're going to have, different things like that. So, okay, so group three, group three's child, group three's child. Group three's child, group three's child. I don't normally shuffle on camera. I usually have these all ready for you guys, but I thought for this one it would be sort of fun and interactive to just shuffle together. So group three is child. Let me get extra cards for you guys. And again, this doesn't mean you're only gonna have one child. You can always choose to have more. There's always, you know, different possibilities. Just, the cards seem to be focusing on this one child. So let's see. Sometimes we think we want to have a certain number of children too, and then we end up changing our minds. So, all right. Group three's child. And the last deck here, and then we'll do the charms. Group three's child, group three's child, group three's child. So let's take a look at your charms. All right. So a friend popped out. So that can mean that friendship is very important to them. They're an excellent friend. We have three signs here. We have Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. So they can have all three of these uh, signs in their chart. That could also symbolize you as well. We've got found. Uh, two friendship charms, faith, truth, shooting star, so it's a wish. Okay, I'm just trying to see what we have here. Okay, I'm going to just pull a few more here. Okay. Heart, hope, love, lots of different words here. Got the... All right, okay, so let's take a look at your cards together here. So we have the Fool, we have the Hawk, we have the Crow, so lots of air energy. That could mean that this baby will be an air sign. We have new career. We have emotions. We have the moon. Interesting. So it's Pisces. Okay, abundance and serendipity. Dietary change and everything's okay. Hmm. <laughs> dietary change is interesting. Dietary change could literally just mean that they have special dietary needs, this child. It could mean that they have an allergy or that they have specific dietary needs that are important. Okay, because that popped out for a reason. So it could just be something to keep in mind. We've got everything's okay. So the cards seem to want to assure you that everything's all right for some reason. And I do see a bit of fear here, okay? Um, we've got the two moons here. We've got a, a little bit of like, maybe this child might be unexpected or something like that where you might feel a little bit nervous. But it's just saying, don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. 
All right, we have abundance and serendipity. These two seem to connect really nicely. So serendipity, again, I'm getting sort of that unexpected sort of news about this baby, but I also think that it's going to be very welcomed. I feel like it's going to be a very happy occasion. I feel like it's all going to work out. The friend too, immediately when I, when I saw the friend charms, I think that this child is going to grow up to be a very good friend to you as well. Now we have the letter E, so this could be the child's initial. This could also represent you. And we have lots of words I'm noticing. We've got brave, we've got found, we've got faith, we've got truth heart, hope, and love. So I feel like these are all the things that this news of this child is going to bring, okay? And again, this could mean that you're going to adopt. This could mean that you'll marry into a family that already has a child that you bond with. It could be referring to one specific child. Everyone's scenario is gonna be different. It could also be that you find out you're pregnant eventually with this child. But abundance, I love that you have abundance. You've got the everything's okay card. I feel like this child, you know, however this, this person comes into your life, it's going to be very good news. It's going to bring a lot of love and a lot of all these things like found makes me think that you're going to find something through this experience. Uh, truth, love, faith. I feel like all of these good things are going to happen. All of this abundance. It says harmonize your thinking with exactly what you desire to attract and the universe will deliver. So for a few of you, this can mean that maybe you're hoping to have children and you really want that luck on your side of having your children. Um, I, you know, I had a family member that, you know, struggled with, you know, trying to have a child and eventually, you know, that child, that child's here now and she, she's like a little girl now and it, you know, it all worked out. Um, so I understand that that can be a stressful thing. So I think for some of you, this might be an unexpected child. And for some of you, this will be a very welcomed child. All right. So emotions and new career. New career is interesting. New career could mean a few things in this sense. I'm almost thinking that your baby or this child that comes into your life might almost feel like like you know motherhood is a job so it could be or fatherhood is a job as well so it could be sort of like sort of talking about that it could also mean that you'll you might end up deciding to work from home or there'll be some sort of career change linking to this child all right so crow and hawk okay so I think that this child is going, see the hawk is interesting. I feel, I see the hawk as like, I always see them as like eye on the prize, determination. And crow I see as mystery. So I feel like this, this is gonna be an interesting little person. The moon too, I feel like they're gonna be very mysterious, possibly a little bit secretive. The ghost here, I think they might have a little bit of like magical sense to them. I feel like, very importantly too we've got lots of friendship we've got the road knight we've got the friend and then the yellow rose which symbolizes friendship so i feel like this person is going to be an excellent friend um to their to their classmates and then also to you once they're an adult okay so we've got lots of different charms here that might just have to do with things that they're interested in as well so i feel like they might have a hard time speaking up for themselves Okay, so that should be something that maybe you end up deciding to encourage or something like that. I'm just going to pull in here. Retirement is interesting when it comes to a kid reading, but let's see. Changing your mind. So, okay, this could mean that maybe a few of you didn't want to have kids or maybe you really had your heart set on having three kids and then you have this one and you decide that, yeah, you know what, I only have one, want to have one. So this could mean tons of different things and it could it could have to do with lots of different scenarios it's going to depend on each of you retirement's interesting this sort of makes me think that like sort of like what i was saying earlier i think you're going to become really close close friends with this like i'm really good my mom's one of my best friends so i think that that's going to be sort of like with this child so once you're in your retirement years and you're sort of you know enjoying your life, I feel like you, you're going to be very close with this particular child. So it's, it's, it seems to almost be focusing on like later on in life as opposed to early years. But we'll keep going here. So we've got the full and the moon. We've got three moons. Okay, so I'm getting strong Pisces energy. I also felt Scorpio. Uh, we didn't get, oh, we did actually, because we've got Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pi oh, Pisces. Okay, so I think with all of these moons here, because we've got Pisces, we've got moon, moon, moon so we've got a lot of pisces here so i think it's safe to say that this child is going to be pisces or at least have pisces in their chart okay i'd imagine it would be their sun sign but 
I mean, again, it's going to be different for each of you. So just keep that in mind. The Fool is awesome. The Fool is sort of like that childlike outlook. So I feel like this little person is going to be very optimistic. I feel like they're going to be adventurous and hopeful. And I feel like this is a quality that they're going to bring out in you as well. And that's when I say they're going to become a friend because I think this little person is going to teach you a lot about adventure and believing and, and having hope and, you know, being hopeful as well with, this, with the shooting star. I think it's going to be a really really excellent relationship between the two of you. So what else do we have? We've got peace here. So this can mean that they're going to bring you a sense of peace as well as we've got like the faith and found. So I think this person, Hope, I think this little person's going to have a significant, it seems to be almost focusing on you as opposed to this, this child. I think this, this child's going to bring a lot of unexpected abundance to you because we had the abundance card too and emotions as well. I think this you know, this could mean too, I mean, Pisces, water energy, right? So it could mean that this child's going to be extremely emotional. Um, I just think that this is an emotional relationship in general. But I think this child's very emotional, very loving, very kind. I think they, they are, I think they, with this little double chair here in the umbrella, I think they're the kind of person that really enjoys one-on-one -on -one chat and they like hanging out we've got laugh here so they seem to be the kind of person that bonds very closely with smaller groups i don't see them being the type that really enjoys big group settings i think they're more of like i see them being a, a little bit secretive too it's got the uh this charm and this charm also talk about just sort of being secretive um the ghost is interesting because the ghost sometimes in readings can talk about things that bug us from our past, but it can also just be about mystery and the unseen. And with all of this moon energy too, I think this person's quite intuitive, very intuitive little person. And then also I think that they are quite secretive as well. So intuitive, secretive, I think they also have a fascination for like, almost like maybe they're really into paranormal and different things like that. And maybe they're into tarot or, you know, just interesting things. They might have a fascination with Halloween, just different things like that. All right. So what else do we have? We've got the gingerbread. The gingerbread makes me, the image I had in my head was just like a mom and, or a father and a, and a child like decorating cookies and doing things around the holidays. So no matter what holiday you, you, um, you are involved in, it doesn't matter. There's always traditions around each holiday. So that would sort of signify that for me we've got citrine here and citrine makes me think of finances so that's interesting i wonder how that would link in maybe this person could just be very determined like this could be talking about them again because you had the retirement card too interesting i wonder have you ever seen that commercial where <laughs> it's gonna be long-winded but the person's taking their father for a house tour and they hand him the keys and then I start crying. The people in the commercial cry. It's just very emotional. So it could mean that you end up retiring like in a situation where you can spend lots of time with them. They might help you with your retirement. Travel could be an aspect too. We've got travel. I think just basically what the cards and charms are both saying is that you guys are going to have a very close relationship. We also have more water energy here too. I'm really strongly feeling Pisces. If they're not a Pisces, then you're a Pisces um, or you have that in your chart. All right, we've got a lizard. So with the E, their name could be Liz. <laughs> I mean, I like to, anything that pops in my head with these charms is what I read. So, and I always encourage you guys to, a lot of people have mentioned that I might skip over a charm. I read the charms as they choose to be read. I, I Whatever messages come through is what I read. So I always invite you guys to look at charms too, because there could be a message that's just for you that I don't even touch on that charm, but it's for you. A lot of people have seen certain messages or words in charms that are, you know, meant for them. So sort of just take what is important to you as well. So laugh is important. It makes me think that um, laughter is important. It's funny that the E, the reason I thought of lizard with the lizard is because my name is Liz. So it just made me think of E and lizard. Okay. Anyway, that, that was my nickname growing up. Okay. So what else do we have here? Travel again seems to be, I think that this this person, this child, is going to love trips. They're going to love going on little vacations. They're going to love to explore and go on trips and little vacations and different things like that. I see them really enjoying that. That's going to be an important part of their life. Um, we've got the ship here. So again, makes me think of travel. They might enjoy going on cruises as they get older. It could also mean 
just this could mean that whenever I see the ship, I think of abundance coming quite slowly. So again, I think of waiting for something. Whenever I see the, because I got the plane, which to me is speed, the ship is a little slower, slower travel, but with great abundance. So that's kind of what it means to me. Dietary change is so interesting that we got that. Because again, I just really think that this means that either they are going to have some sort of dietary need that's very specific to them like an allergy like I said or just something to pay attention to um, or perhaps that could be something that they're interested in as a career later in life so it could be one of those two things what else do we have here more finances here it could just be encouraging you to put money away for this like in like maybe you decide to have the one child that's so talking about this to one child Maybe you start a little bank account with the penny and then the citrine growing into abundance and then retirement. I just see a lot of like future planning symbolism coming through here. So maybe planning for the future financially as it pertains to this particular child is important. We've got hope as well. So many symbols of hope and, and faith and having faith. So I think for those of you that chose group three, I think... A lot of you are going to be in different situations. Perhaps some of you have been really wanting to have a child. And I hope with all my heart and I will pray for you that that happens for you. Um, but like I said, you know, there's all different ways to have a family. There's adoption and there's all just sort all these options now. So I think for a lot of you, it's about hope and wanting to have a baby. And then I think for some of you, it might be an unexpected. Maybe a lot of you aren't sure that you want to have a child and that's where this changing your mind card comes up. Maybe a lot of you are expecting to have five kids and you decide to stop at one. I think it's going to be individual for each of you. So again, always take what resonates because these readings are reaching a large amount of people. So there's going to be little specific things that are meant for you. All right. So yeah, retirement, again, just made me think of that commercial. So I think your children might be very involved in your retirement they might it just might mean that they're that they almost like you care for them as children and they really want to care for you you know during those years so i think that's really really cool abundant so with all of these financial clues here with the penny and the citrine i think that money is going to be not a problem for this child necessarily i think that their job it could mean that their career because i think you had the could mean that their career is one that they don't have to worry. I thought you guys had a career. Yeah, a new career. So it could mean that their career is going to be that in which that they don't have to worry about money. And it could also mean that maybe your career will change after having this child. So there's, again, many different meanings there. But the the base the basics are the same here amongst everyone. So what else? And everything's okay. I think I love this card because it's just so reassuring. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. So if you're worried about something, you know, either now or once you have this child, it's just telling you, you know, it's okay. It's all working out. Don't worry. You know, it's, it's all going to be okay. Sand and the ship and the beach symbolism here makes me think that this child's really going to enjoy the beach, tropical sort of themes, things like that. They might really enjoy going to the beach as a family. They might enjoy travel that involves the beach or anything tropical. This crystal ball makes me think of being intuitive as well. And then you've got the amethyst. So I do, I do. And with this moon energy, the Pisces energy, all of this water, I think that this, and then like this little ghost makes me think of like, you know, spiritual, you know, things like that. So I think they're going to be very spiritual. I think they're going to be intuitive and they might be interested in tarot and things like that. The dog makes me think of living in the moment. That could mean that this person really enjoys living in the moment or it's very important for them to focus on living in the moment. We've got the words here. So this person might be excellent at written communication. So writing um, words, they might be excellent at poetry or writing things like that could be very, very important to them. We've got the baseball glove. So this person might really enjoy sports and activities but I, I'm getting almost like that image of like a parent and a child sort of tossing a ball in the backyard. So I think it's more like leisurely sports is what I'm is what I'm feeling in this instance. Because I, again, like I said, I feel like they really enjoy one on one. We've got a he, so there is male energy here, and it doesn't mean that this is a male, but there is masculine energy here. So they could have a very strong masculine energy about them, or it could be a boy. Okay, song, so they could be quite musical as well. Interesting. 
very cool, group three. Very, very cool. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you resonated with it or if you felt connected to it, definitely let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely consider subscribing. I'd love to have you as part of the little family we have here. A lot of you have commented that you're part of the notification squad, which always makes me so happy. So if you haven't hit the bell, definitely do that too so you can hear about all of my future videos. I really had fun doing this reading. If you like me shuffling on camera, I try to sort of pepper them into occasional readings and do them once in a while because I know a lot of you like the sound of the shuffling. So if you enjoyed that, definitely let me know too and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.